is the Canon RF 200 to 800 mm f6.3 to 9 an SCM or a USM lens? Well, you won't have to wait much longer to find out what kind of motor it has because, well, we've got confirmation. So stay tuned for the details right after this short message. But first, subscribe to this channel for a chance to win a Canon EOS R5. I'll be giving one away to one lucky subscriber once this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Anyone above the age of 18 with a valid mailing address is eligible. Additional terms and conditions are linked in the description down below. The Camera Insider already broke news earlier today that we're getting the Canon RF 24-105 f2.8 Wide and Fast Image Stabilized USM. It's going to be announced on Thursday, just a couple of days away. And now, Canon Rumors has an update on the RF 200-800mm f6.3-9.0 Image Stabilized Lens. We now know whether it's an STM or USM lens, and we've even got a leaked image. A lens that we've been waiting for some, what, 15 or more years? I remember back to the Canon 5D Mark IV when the Canon 24-105 f4 EF version was considered a kit lens, was sold as a kit lens. And then in 2020, when Canon released the R5, the R5 Mark I, in many cases, it was sold alongside the R5 as a kit lens. And it's been a solid kit lens. I've been using it on this channel for the past three and a half years. It's been my go-to running gun lens. Although at times I've been thinking of getting the 24 to 70, it's a little bit faster at f2.8. And it's currently on sale over here at b and in Adorama for $300 off. But now instead of thinking, do we get that 24 to 70 f2.8 L series? We can now decide, or we can now put it through our own mental thought process, should instead we get the 24 to 105 f2.8. And this is going to be a big and powerful lens. It's all contained, it's an all internal, and that's one of the specifications that the Camera Insider hadn't talked about previously. But you can see from the image that the 24 to 105 f2.8 uses an internal zoom. A very, very, I think it's a very good consideration for this lens, just like the 24 to 105 f4. And of course, the um, the unweather sealed version. But to have that internal zoom, I think is big. Uh, but many people have not picked up on this. If you look at that image from the Camera Insider, you'll see that the lens itself has a footer. And that's Canon's way of telling you that it's going to be heavier. It's going to be bigger than the Canon 24 to 105 f4, bigger and heavier than the 24 to 70. It's going to be a big lens. It's going to be a heavy lens. How heavy? How big? Well, we just don't know at this point. But that it has an internal zoom. That's a big deal. But now let's go ahead and talk about the Canon RF 200 to 800 millimeter. The main purpose of this video, the f6.3 to 9 image stabilized STM or USM lens. And that's what we're going to get to. So this lens is a super telephoto. I mean, you've got a, a zoom range all the way from 200 to 800 millimeters, not 300 to 800 millimeters, as previous rumors from a year ago had stated. And of course, the aperture range is dialed in at 6.3 to 9. There are some interesting things about this lens, though. It is not an L series, but it gets the white paint treatment, and it has deferred optics. Sorry, I mean diffractive optics. And when a lens has diffractive optics, it's not an L series. It's either an L series or it's diffractive optics. And if it's diffractive optics, it doesn't have, well, the other uh, L series capabilities. And also, this lens apparently isn't weather sealed. So what does it look like? Well, Canon Rumors posted an image of the lens, and I gotta warn you here, this is a pretty bad image. As I start to zoom in here, you're gonna notice that the image starts to break down, but this does confirm that it's a big white, and it looks like a high quality lens. And if the image is accurate here, it means that the lens comes with a hood, which the Canon RF 800mm f11 didn't. But it's gonna be priced in at around $2,000, around $2,000 to $2,200, or about 2,500 euros. And it's getting a lot of attention. It's got my attention. I'm very interested in this lens. Uh, not being weather sealed is a bit of a downer a little bit, but I'm wondering how well constructed it is because still $2,000 isn't cheap. That's a lot of money for a lens. And for those of us living in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe, when we factor in that exchange rate, customs, and tariffs, this becomes a very expensive lens, well over 3,000 in our local currency unit. So 200 to 800 millimeter, around 2,500 euros, around $2,000 US, not being weather sealed or L series, but having diffractive optics. And well, 
The good news is it's going to have a USM motor, not an STM. So that is another consideration for you when you're thinking about getting this lens. The Canon RF 200 to 800 millimeter. I don't know of any other lens out there that comes close to this in terms of its focal range and its capabilities. We do have lenses from Sigma that do like 150 to 600 millimeters. We have the new Nikkor lens that's what, 200 or 180 to 600 millimeters, priced around what, $1,700? And of course, in Canon's own camp, we have that really nicely priced f5.6, 800 millimeter prime that, let's be honest, very few of us are gonna be able to afford. And the one that we can afford, the 800 millimeter f11, well, it's an f11. It's not starting at f11, it's f11. And the only way to go to something like f22 or f16 is with a 1.4 or a 2.0 extender. So there are some real limitations of that lens, but at around $1,000, I, I own this lens, and I gotta tell you, it's one of the most enjoyable lenses I've ever shot with. Being able to go 800 millimeters is incredible. And I do own the Canon 100 to 500 millimeter f4.5 to 7.1. It's a terrific lens, handheld, it's a dream, it's amazing. But the difference between 500 and 800 millimeters it's magical, it's huge. This scene here was shot using the 800 millimeter F11 with a two times extender. And right here, I'm simulating a focal length of 3200. So 800 millimeters times two with the extender at 1600 millimeters. And then I'm cropping it in post because I'm shooting at 8K. So you're getting this in 4K and that delivers effectively 3200 millimeters. And look at this, I'm flying across the surface of the moon. How cool is that? So the 200 to 800 millimeter is not just fixed at 800 millimeters. It allows us to go all the way from 200 up to 800 millimeters. And I can, I'm, here's my thoughts here. If you're gonna be shooting in regular light, like noontime light, anywhere from let's say nine in the morning up to about six o'clock at night, you're gonna have all the light you need to be able to shoot whatever it is you're shooting. And if you're shooting really bright objects at night, like the moon, no problems. Saturn and Jupiter, again, no problems. However, for astrophotography, that's gonna be a little bit different and you're definitely going to need a tracker. I am excited by this lens. I am pretty much gonna pre-order this unless somebody wants to give me one. So I'm really looking forward to the announcement on Thursday with some incredible lenses. Oh, take a deep breath. I mean, the only, the only way this could be an even better announcement, if Canon came out and said, hey, by the way, we've opened up the mount for Sigma. And that is a rumor coming from Sony Alpha Rumors, and I've heard it from many other people talking to Sigma reps, is there's communications going on and something's gonna be announced before the end of the year, not on November the 2nd. So that's really big news. And if you'll notice right down below, I have what I call smart pre-order links for both the 200 to 800 millimeter as well, well as the 24 to 105 F 2.8. The reason why they're there is they're smart pre-order links. So that way, as soon as the embargo is lifted, if you go ahead and copy down these pre-order links, uh, they're gonna work. They're gonna show you all the different options available for the 24 to 105, the 800, 200 to 800 millimeter. And if you do use these link links, I get anywhere from, I think it's around two to 6% back as a commission, depending on uh, who you buy it from, uh, B&H, Adorama, or Amazon. But um, I, I, gotta be, I gotta be honest with you. I, anybody who has used my pre-order links uh, for various products like these ones here or the um, for just general affiliate links for Amazon, Adorama, or B&H. Thank you so much. It's the reason why I'm able to purchase these lenses for the channel, to be able to purchase the R5 Mark II or the Canon EOS R1. So thank you very much. And um, not only do I have the links on the screen, but if you look at the top of the description, I've got all the smart pre-order links. Again, they're not gonna work until the embargo's lifted. And here's what I'm hearing through the grapevine is that we may very well get a midnight announcement, which means as soon as we turn over into um, November the 2nd, Eastern Standard Time at 0 hundred hours or 12.01, that's when the announcement I'm hearing might drop, but it could, it could happen at eight or 10 o'clock in the morning. If it is gonna happen late at night, around midnight, on or around midnight, I'm gonna be doing a live stream. We're gonna talk about these lenses. We're gonna look at all the latest reviews and I'm gonna to try to get some guests who can actually talk about these lenses. So all that's supposed to start happening tomorrow. I should know by about midday and don't be surprised if other videos come out either later today or tomorrow morning with more leaked specifications and photos on these lenses. The 18, the 10 to 18 millimeter, the 200 to, the 200 to 800 millimeter. I'm getting so lost in all the numbers and specifications here. And of course, 
the 24 to 105 f 2.8. Can you believe that that lens is real? Can you believe that the 200 to 800 millimeter is real? Looks like Canon is continuing to think outside the box with the RF mount, and that's what excites me more. So these lenses, I think, will be very well received. If you're on the fence, go ahead and pre-order it, watch the reviews, and then if you want to cancel out, cancel out. But I can tell you right now that the demand for these two lenses is already through the roof. How do I know this? Well, I've already reached out to some local camera stores, and they're telling me that people are already calling in and asking for their name to be put down. They want this lens, put them on the list. So um, if you have a local camera store, I highly, reckon, I highly recommend reaching out to them because these two lenses are gonna be a big time sellers. The 10 to 18 millimeter, not as much, but the 200 to 800 and the 24 to 105 f 2.8, they're gonna be selling like hotcakes. No, they're gonna sell, they're gonna sell a whole lot better than hotcakes and be a whole lot tastier. Um, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, once I have information about the live stream, I'm going to go ahead and tweet that out. I'll also put it out as a community post here on this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this channel, for commenting, for, for subscribing. It's really helped this channel grow. And I think, like you, I'm really excited about this announcement. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you again soon. Most likely, very soon.